What's going on, everybody? So, um, in the previous video, I talked about tops, and I wanted to go into more in depth with it here recently. Everybody understands you have tops, and top sells directly to distribution centers such as GTS, um, Southern Peach, Blowout, Layton, because they're all considered distribution companies. Out of all those, GTS, Peach, and Southern all, all do uh, distributing to your breakers, your um, brick and mortars, whatever it may be. As long as you have a license and all your criteria, you can buy from them. So, for example, say, I don't know, 2020, I'm going to throw numbers out, and I don't know how accurate they are, but it's an example. 2021 Top Series 2, say we were paying $70 a box onto it. Um, that's what my distributor would sell to me due to my licensing. And then, say, if you went on Dave and Adams or Blowout, they were $120 a box. So that's where you guys can start seeing some of the markups per box. That's why a lot of times I drop my prices. So recently, uh, I happened to look into my account and I noticed some price increases. And dramatic. We're not talking even about the Bowman Draft where the prices of the boxes went up for us. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, where, say a box cost us 100 now, it's 130 it Nothing like that there. I can tell you now, the new Topps Finest Soccer just came out, tripled in price for us, tripled. So the price that we paid for the box as a reseller, I guess wholesale reseller account, was pretty close to what Blowout and Dave and Cat Adams were selling the boxes for. Um, it's not all products by Topps, and I'm going to pull one up. This here, I've given everybody I've given everybody enough time, all the retailers, to get their stuff fixed if they looked into it to find out if they need to raise their prices. But I can tell you now, Bowman Sterling Baseball, I would buy the two ninety six a box because as a person that could buy direct with a license, I'm paying maybe ten dollars less a box after it's all said and done. So that's giving you an idea on the prices now that a lot of the breakers and stores are going to have to be paying for this from distribution companies offhand. This is a perfect example. I know a couple people have already bought boxes, and you're only allowed six. Um, this was put out with a few products that I've noticed gone up uh, for the pricing, i.e. Topps Chrome Jumbo Boxes went up from what I initially was quoted at a price versus um, what it is now. And if you look, it says how do pre-orders work. And just so you guys can see here. If you pre-order from us and we lower the pre-order price, contact us and we'll refund the difference. We also guarantee that all pre-orders be fulfilled. But I know they can't raise the prices or something on to you after you already have your pre-order in. So I wanted to give enough people time, especially because I know some people go on eBay and buy their cases and stuff. I didn't want people to rush out there. I wanted to know the news. So hopefully people are getting it and figuring it out now because yesterday was the day that everybody should have really figured out Topps Finest Soccer tripled in price per box to where we were paying like three eighty dollars a box. I think they're like 440 450 on Blowout and David Adams. So just gives you an idea. Um, I see Breakers probably uh, not liking this overall. A lot of the hobby shops and LCSs as well too. Because you have to spend a whole lot of money on product in order to get X amount allocated to lower price on pre-order. So if you're not buying... I'm just using this for an example. I'm not buying 10 cases of Definitive after it releases. I'm probably not going to get my two cases of Definitive at pre-order price. So 
I'm going to move the 10 cases I buy afterwards, make very little profit onto it, but overall profit mixed in another two cases even out. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but it, there's going to be a big change in this completely. Really, really big change now. And it's not all a Topps products. I can tell you that it was Sterling, uh, some soccer, the Topps Chrome Jumbo, Bowman Draft. Oh, there was another one, too. Panini has done it as well. I can tell you Panini Select Basketball tripled in what we paid in price for it. Uh, but I think the companies overall are doing this to get more and more money out of it. And this is the stuff that's only minus Topps Chrome, but Topps Chrome Jumbo. Uh, well, I guess that's really, but Topps Chrome is both retail. Most of the stuff that I was noticing... I would say 80% of it was hobby only. So don't know really where to go with it or anything like that. But I know a lot of people are going to start being like, oh, why does this cost so much and that and breaks are this price now? Well, the reason being is there's certain products that have now tripled in price or gone up. Um, where we pre-order in at a certain price, our price isn't guaranteed. It could go up. Never goes down, unfortunately. But... Um, yeah, products like that have gone up. So, like I said, I got one box of Sterling. I'm telling you, I'm paying like 10 bucks lower than what it is on here. It might be a couple bucks off, but it's like 10 bucks total. Because uh, you got to figure I got to pay some tax stuff on to it. So, if you guys are looking for a deal before anybody, I mean, I gave all the companies time to go out there and, you know, fix their pricing on to it. But it's two ninety six a box. I, I would probably pick this up now. I'm not telling you to go out there and go do it. But with the knowledge and what I know from the inside, I've given enough time for everybody to make their their thing on to it. And I'll show you guys here. I'm just going to go to soccer cards instead of typing this out. There's tier one, 148 a box. Now, I think we were paying... I don't even remember what I paid for the box. Might have been right under that. Not much. I'm trying to find the finest stuff. How do I do this? And just so you know, I'll, I do have the song in my hand. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Because somebody put that in one of the comments. And that's the only thing that's going through my head going, give it away, give it away, give it away now. Mm, can I find the finest? I want to say it was, I, I tell you, I paid like three, over 380 for the box. I don't know with all the text. I'm just going to type in finest soccer. Four ninety a box. There we go. Four ninety. So yeah, we still got like maybe a hundred bucks under, but there's not going to be them big profits that breakers are going to be making like they used to onto it. And Grant, when you look at it, I mean, unless you're a big time soccer dude onto it, I mean, there's some cool names. And you pull a Lionel Messi. That's good. I I don't know a whole lot of these names onto this, so. Hopefully they don't have all the jacked up things that Finest had in baseball this year. There's Holland. Holland. But I wanted to put something out like this for everybody because you deserve to know about this. And there was enough time given since this was done for companies to go out there and fix their pricing across the board. Whether they go out there and tell all the people like me about it, I don't know. I caught it on monday and i'll be honest my rep called up uh his boss's boss i think it was or something they had a discussion about it and they said hey anybody this has just dropped on us it wasn't even what two days before release no two days before it had to ship for me shipped to me for release so when i had to pay for it but they said no penalty if they want to drop it they could drop it they weren't expecting to pay this amount per box which i did respect on that I mean, if there's a product that somehow tripled in price and we want to drop it, we can without penalty. But be on the lookout for it. It's just not tops. There's some Panini stuff going on, too, out there, buddy. 
but you guys should be made aware because a lot of times people think with the licensing that you're going to make like you used to until now <laughs> you can make some good money but you had to keep buying in after the fact onto it and i, I just know this from when i was a breaker that <clears throat> if i got five cases of bowman's vest allocated to me i probably broke equivalent of keeping that probably 20 extra cases on top of it so i was probably getting like one case on pre-order for every four that i broke so when you average it out and you don't overcharge when you rebuy back into it then your profit will like even out across the board in a way but for anybody else that's seeing product going up and they're like man i wish i had a license and stuff it's not all glory like it used to be on the other side um <clears throat> i just want to bring that to light with everything other than saying i mean bowman sterling this year nobody's changed their prices but they changed it on everything else so if you guys want like a quick buy of a box that might be something to go pick up because i don't know how good the product's going to be but i can tell you what i'm paying per box on pre-order with my licensing versus what somebody else is selling it for and this was the other example here. This tripled in price to what it's, you know, what it's showing here. Kind of gives you guys the idea. I think y'all get it. But all right, everybody, I wanted to put this out. You guys have a good, safe 4th of July out there. I got to go back to the boards and the reading, seeing all these new uh, scammers out there and stuff. And pick some stuff apart to talk about in some other videos. Remember, not live uh, tonight at all, because this should be a Friday video. Yeah, Friday video. And um, see you guys the following Friday back with overtime in the evening. I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about in those two weeks uh, with not being live, because we already seen PSA already reopen. Talk some SGC. Probably talk a little more into this uh, Tops Madness that I'm going to call it. I think that's what I'm going to name the video, Tops Company Madness. Huh. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Stay safe out there over the 4th of July. Enjoy your time with your family and friends.